Welcome back to another video. I got a, another uh, job coming up. So this particular customer, they have five bags of weed, four bags of dirt, eight to nine center blocks, one chair that needs to be removed from the customer's property. I gave them a, a rough quote over the phone, but I always tell my customers that prices does change whenever I get on site. Basically explain to them that, you know, even if the customer sends you a picture, it's always best to quote them in person versus over the phone. Sometimes you got those customers that they're really persistent on give me a general quote over the phone so that way they can evaluate if they can afford your service. You get customers that understand and you get customers that don't understand. Customers that don't understand, you just got to break it down to them that it's not just picking up the item that comes in the equation. It's also you got labor for especially for heavy items some jobs you can't do yourself you got additional labor fees some items you know you have to pay more at the landfill so landfill prices changes often it's not based off of the item it's based off of the load the trailer load vehicle maintenance okay vehicle mileage that comes into factor maintenance on your trailer that comes into effect it's a lot of factors that come into play you want to be able to build your customers correctly so that way when it comes to maintenance and all this other stuff you'll be able to have profit on hand take care of those things since this is a dirty job i'm gonna go ahead and switch out for my jeans and put on my carpenter uh, pants like to wear for dirty jobs so that way if i get dirty you know i just be like uh got my dirty clothes on i'm good stay tuned got the truck nice and clean nice and clean Trying to tell you guys, keep your truck as clean as possible. Your truck is a representation of yourself. When you pull up to your customer's location, this is the first thing that they see is your vehicle. You want that appearance to stick out. And that way the customer knows that you mean business. Last night, gave it a nice foam wash. She's clean. Got to do a little bit more better on the trailer, but it was it was dark. It was real dark, so I really couldn't see the trailer that much. Let's go. All right, guys. So this job is a is a light job, but it, it does have um, there's a there's a bucket full of uh, fill dirt, and the fill dirt is uh, is heavy because of the rain. So I'm gonna back this trailer up into the yard to get it. Also, these are two additional bags from the other neighbor. So. We got more work, uh, more work. So I got two jobs and, and one. So right now what I'm gonna do is get this trailer on the yard. So that way we can uh, pick up that extremely heavy bucket. There's no sense to drag it across the yard. You know, work smarter, not harder, guys. All right, job is finished. Got the neighbor and him. So, clean up that area, as well as that area right there. Everything's in there. Just gonna open that there and inform the customer hopefully you guys can hear me hopefully the sound is not going through my uh truck speakers because i do have the bluetooth on yeah that was uh that was one i would say it was an easy job dealing with the leaves when it came to the brick and there was this really really heavy bucket full of uh dirt and mud and water it kind of raised the difficulty like it's something that you can handle on your own but it's something that consumes time and energy, okay? So you gotta remember to build for that time and energy that you spend. When it comes to quilting jobs, 
quote it on site and um, that way you can you can see exactly you know how much time energy uh, trailer space you're gonna utilize and also by you showing your equipment your truck and trailer that's also going to help allow the customer to accept the price okay so if I came up with a dump trailer with a truck the customer's gonna be like okay this person talking business they know what they're doing they're gonna accommodate with the price I truly didn't even uh, know that I was <laughs> recording my chest instead of you guys but yeah job is done quick $250 job right there you know this was a senior customer and with senior customers I cut them a deal I got another a hundred dollar job with that uh, additional $100 job that was the actual neighbor the neighbor came out and seen my truck and trailer and seen that I do junk removal so he inquired you know how much would it cost to remove these two bags and some plywood and uh, some uh, roofing uh, tar and I basically uh, provided him a quick price of $100 and he was like okay let's get it done it definitely doesn't matter to have your truck and equipment whenever it comes to quoting jobs because people will take you more serious and people will respect your prices. So keep that in mind. People will take you serious and people will respect your prices whenever you do have your equipment with you. So yeah, guys, that was it. That's the job. We were able to uh, pick up these bags of leaves, an old chair, some roof and tar so the the roof tar and this plywood was from the neighbor and basically charged them a hundred dollars i got a, a spot where i can take that stuff up and i'm gonna see about the leaves more than likely i do have a spot for the leaves but more than likely i'm gonna have to take the leaves out the bag but still that's doable Oh, so this was the big, this was the heaviest thing ever. This thing, goodness gracious. No, actually, it's not this one. Well, this, yeah, this one does have weight to it. This does have weight to it. Okay. But the true heavy one is that sucker right there. Just look how delicious that looks. Yeah, Paula soup <laughs> yeah so this is a bag of leaves bag of leaves 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 uh tar well, roofing shingles uh let's see so the actual bricks i put them in the trash can okay the reason why i put them in the trash can so it's not scuffing up and sliding around the dump trailer I gotta figure out what to do with the bed. There's gotta be some sort of protection that you could put on the bed. Um, I know you can like put your, uh, you can spray the bed down. So I may have to look at that. But uh, yeah, that is it. I'm gonna probably lay that down so that way it doesn't bounce off. But uh, yeah, I got a place I gotta call for the, these leaves of bags see how much it'll cost more than likely they're going to tell me to uh i gotta bust the leaves open so uh, that's um that's another thing that you have to uh account for you know if you got to open stuff up to dump it so you got to build a customer for it all right so yep i'm pulling up here to the landfill so i'm gonna see if they accept me because i got these leaves and plastic bags Pretty pack, pretty pack, baby, pretty pack. So yeah, my whole goal is to unload the trailer and then take the trailer up to the dealership so that way uh, they can basically inspect it. It's definitely an issue with the wiring. So, uh, you know, hopefully they'll be able to uh, assist me. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm on my way. I'll see you guys when I get there. Pulling down here. Uh, this is the brush area of which the brush area you just basically dump your uh, you know brush items uh, 
leaves, branches, stuff of that nature. It all goes there. Uh, it says paper bags only. I don't know why it says paper bags only, but then that says, oh, oh, paper bags. Yeah, yeah, paper bags, no plastics. Yeah, 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 yeah. No plastics. No plastics. Uh oh, somebody, somebody went and dumped some plastic over there. But uh, it looks like I could drop some concrete over here too. So that's that's man, that's perfect. So I'm just gonna back her up to the pile right there. Go ahead and uh, get everything unloaded. I'll show you guys real quick what we work on. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of bags of leaves here. A couple of leaves up front. So I gotta uh, unbag them and then dump them in this uh, brush pile. So yeah, let's get ready to rock and roll. Again, we rock with the Tundra 5.7 V8. I got majority of the bags open and basically all I'm doing is take the bag, lift it up, dump what's in there, Take my bag, put it in the trash can. Just can't, uh, can't take bags here. So uh, you know you gotta put your plastic bags in the uh, plastic recycle. So that's where that's gonna go. So this is the exact reason why. You hire a professional. Might open that up a little bit more. This is the reason why you have to. It's good to hire a professional to remove your, your junk. So that way, all the items can be properly disposed of or recycled. And that's how you save. Earth. Likely, you know, somebody got a bag here, a couple of bags there, bag on the ground there. So it's just like, come on, people, come to the dump, well, the landfill, be responsible for what you do. Don't do a half job, go all in. Again, it's your business, your business name is on the line. that open a little bit more and uh we can take all this stuff up to the uh, trash area It'll be good to go more than likely probably gonna hold on to this so we can take this to the recycle that oh i can i didn't even really realize that i had this open but i can take this over there to that pile and that's going up there with the trash stuff too so that's rolling